When DaVinci Resolve 17 was released, it came with a whole bunch of new tools and a whole bunch of new effects. And today what I wanted to do was go over one of those effects called Video Collage, which is a super easy to use effect that'll allow you to create, as the name suggests, video collages and picture and picture and split screens and a whole bunch of other stuff. So I've got a project set up in DaVinci Resolve with some clips that we're gonna be working with. We're gonna use this first group right here to create a video collage. We're gonna use this second group right here to do a picture in picture and this third group here to do a split screen. But before we do any of that, I wanna tell you about today's sponsor, Tascade. Tascade is a simple, easy to use app that'll allow you to brainstorm ideas, manage projects, and organize tasks. And the process is really easy. You just create a new project using one of Taskade's pre-built templates, or you can create a template of your own that you can use over and over again. This is actually something that I did for my videos and also for my freelance projects. And each one of those projects has a lot of really cool features, including a bunch of collaboration tools that'll allow you to add people to your projects and do video calls right from within the app, and they can all be viewed in different ways. So I can do a board kind of like Trello, or I can do a mind map, an organizational chart, or even just a basic to-do list. And if I wanna get an overview of everything that's coming up in my schedule, they have a really awesome calendar view that can sync with my Google Calendar, so I don't even need to go up into the app to see if I have anything on the docket. Personally, I've been using Taskade for a while to get a bird's eye view of my entire entire life, because everything from the things I need to get done at home to my entire YouTube schedule, freelance work, and even sponsorship deals are all in their own little groups within Taskade, and I can get to them super easily either on the computer or in the app on my phone. Taskade really has been helping me get a bird's eye view of my entire life and get a little bit more organized. So if that sounds like something that could be useful to you, head down to the link in the description and check out Taskade today. All right, let's jump into DaVinci Resolve. Take a look at this first group here. We've got a clip of a chef followed by a few clips of food. Let's go ahead and reactivate all those video tracks so we can get started. Now, the way that you organize your clips is very, very important. What we're doing with this first group here is we're going to use this clip of our chef as the background and these four clips of food are gonna be overlaid on top. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, but if they need to be on top, why are they below the clip of the chef? And that's that has a lot to do with how the video collage effect works. So let's make sure that we've got the clip of our chef selected. Head over into our effects library. If you don't see your effects library, just go ahead and click effects library here in the top left and that should pop up. We're gonna make sure we have open effects clicked and we're gonna search for video, there we go, video collage. Let's go ahead and drag that onto our clip. And what that effect just did was it created four rectangular masks on this clip of the chef. So now we can see the clips below it. The only problem is because all of these clips of food are full screen right now, all you're seeing is this top level clip. Let's go ahead and change that. We're gonna go ahead and select this top clip here. We're gonna make sure that our transform controls are turned on by hitting this little rectangle. And we're just going to resize and move each of these clips. So there's clip number one. Here's clip number two. Clip number three. And clip number four. And now if we play that, you'll see we've got a nice little video collage going on. But there's a lot more that you can do with that video collage effect. There's a whole bunch of controls in the inspector that we can play around with. So let's go ahead and make sure the clip of our chef is selected. We're gonna head over to the inspector. We're gonna click on effects. And this is where we're gonna see all of the controls for the video collage effect. So starting with the layout section, we can add or subtract rows and columns, which is really cool. We can stagger our rows and columns vertically and horizontally. So that looks good right about there. We can make them more or less round. So if I bring it down, you'll see we've got nice sharp corners. And if I bring it all the way up, now we've got circles. 
Now real quick, I'm just gonna go ahead and move these around so that they're still within the masks. Let's head back into our effect controls. Down here in margins and spacing, you can do a bunch of stuff again, like increasing or decreasing the margins. So I can bring these closer together. I can bring them farther apart. I can do this same thing with our vertical margins. Keep that where it was. In fact, let's reset both of these. We can do a horizontal offset so I can bring everything over to the left or over to the right. Same thing vertically. I can move everything up and down with the vertical offset and I can change horizontal and vertical spacing as well. And then if I come over into our tile settings, this is where I can edit each individual tile or add effects to all the tiles at once. So for one, I can do muting of the tiles. So if I wanted to turn tile one off, I just make sure this is set to tile one. I can hit mute tile. I can even keyframe that. So as I'm going through, I can have the tiles turning on and off. Let's go ahead and unselect that. In tile styling, I can create a border around my tiles. I can also create a drop shadow on my tiles. So let's go ahead and drag that up, create a little bit of a drop shadow. And we've got a whole bunch of drop shadow controls like angle and distance and expand and blur. And we've got some really cool tile animations like flying in and out or shrinking or fading, all sorts of stuff. Let's go ahead and do that. We can do that two different ways. We can either manually keyframe everything, which will allow us to set the beginning and the end points, or we can do some automated things. Let's do an automated one. We're gonna change this from manually keyframe to intro and outro. And we're gonna make this fly in and shrink. And let's go ahead and play that. And you'll see everything comes in from the right there. And I don't really want that. I want everything to come from a different direction. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up here. We're gonna uncheck apply to all tiles. Now this is only going to pertain to tile number one. Let's go ahead to tile number two. We're gonna do intro and outro fly left. Let's go to tile number three. We'll do fly up and we'll go to tile number four and do fly down. And now if we play that back, everything's coming from a different direction and it looks really cool. And then at the end, it's going to fly back the way it came. So that's video collage, really easy. Lots of customization that you can do with it. I, I'm a big, big fan, but that's kind of a very niche situation. Not a lot of people are going to use that maybe in montages or I don't know. It's not something personally I would use a lot, but there is something that I would use a lot and that's picture in picture, especially when I'm doing tutorials or maybe if you do gaming videos and you want your webcam footage to be showing up with the gaming footage or your camera footage to be showing up with the gaming footage, then picture in picture would be a great way to go. So let's do a quick picture in picture right here. We've got some food and uh, below that we've got our chef. And what we want is for our chef to be up here in the corner while we're showing the food being cooked. So let's go ahead and reactivate that. Make sure that our clip of the food is selected. We're gonna drag video collage onto that clip. Again, we've got our four masks. Let's go ahead and make sure that this is selected. Come into our inspector, go to effects. And this time, since we're only doing one in the corner, what we can do is bring our columns down, our rows down, bring our rounding up. Let's increase our left and right margins. We're gonna use our horizontal and our vertical offset. Actually, let's go top right corner here. That looks good. And just for fun, let's go ahead and put a drop shadow on here a little bit and maybe a little bit of a, let's say blue border. Okay, bring that border up. There you go. And now let's click on our clip of the chef. Make sure that our transform controls are on. And let's go ahead and resize this. So this would be your webcam, this would be your game, or this would be the tutorial you're doing, and this would be your camera footage, whatever you want. This is a great 
picture in picture here. That's looking really good. And now let's move on to our final group. I'm gonna show you how to do a really easy split screen. Let's go ahead and move over here once again. These are both good to go. All right, let's go ahead and drag our video collage on top of our top clip. Again, in our inspector, we're gonna to go to effects, go one and one. This time we're gonna bring our rounding all the way down so we have nice sharp corners. Let's bring our top and bottom margins all the way down. Let's bring our left and right margins up and let's use our horizontal offset to come over to the side and then we'll click on our second clip here and we'll use our transform controls just to move everything over to the left. And if we play that back, we've got a nice little split screen here. You know, now that I think about it, you could probably use the video collage effect doing that split screen that I just showed you in order to clone yourself really, really easily. Man, there's a lot of different ways to clone yourself in DaVinci Resolve. If you wanna check out another one, click here. And for more tools, tips, and tricks that'll make you a better video editor, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.